We didn't get a chance much to talk about Bologna, and you have a very excellent edition of uh, two books, really. One by Giambattista Martini, or well-known as Padre Martini, the famous 18th century teacher who taught Mozart, who taught Johann Christian Bach. And you also have an edition by his protege, his student, Stanislav Matei. Uh, can you comment on, on the Bologna school? I think that would be very interesting to hear about. Yeah, the, the Bologna school is, uh, is um, I mean, it was the, the, the other um, very important center for learning keyboard counterpoint in Italy at the time. So many students went to, went to Naples and then to Bologna or first to Bologna and then to Naples. <laughs> there are actually quite a few who went to both cities yeah, maybe one year there and then one year there before they went home to their home country. Right, right. Yeah, yeah and the tradition is comparable. Um, I think Martini's teaching uh, also starts with a lot of, um, with a lot of uh, keyboard practicing. He calls it accompagnamento. Yeah, so he calls it accompaniment. But he also uses his uh, his accompaniment exercises as the basis in his counterpoint notebooks, which is very interesting. So it's it's uh, quite similar to what was done in in Naples. And um, can you talk about this particular book and uh, how extensive is the course compared to like? For instance, Fenneroli has a number of books, four books. So if you go by Imbimbo, three with the new Professor Ewald de Mera, critical edition. What do you cover in this book? Um, yeah, well, it's, it's uh, basically a, a transcription of the, of the autograph, which is in Bologna today. Um, and um, it starts with, uh, with whole note against whole note simple counterpoint so just making lines over a over a baseline um, and it it studies uh, also double counterpoint stuff uh, lots of uh, varied ca cadences so you get one cadence and then you get 20 different realizations in with different figures uh, over one cadence so it's also it's similar uh, the approach is very similar you you get small elements and you you learn to exploit the material um, to its very extremes. Yeah? And, and you learn to do it by with your fingers on the keyboard. You learn counterpoint practically before you start to write counterpoint. Yeah? And so is, this he, is, what... is he closer to Leo versus then, then Durante in terms of the approach in the material? I would say that, yes. It's more old fashioned. He was very old fashioned. And what about his student, Stanislav Matei? You also have uh, worked on this book, which you've also published. So I, I have this as well. Could you talk about his student's approach, Stanislav Matei, who, by the way, I think, for people who don't know, taught very famous people. Uh, Rossini, he taught. Did he teach Donizetti? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I, th I believe he also taught the teacher of Richard Wagner, Christian Weinlich. So this is a very, very influential um, teacher. Can you talk about this publication? Yeah, I, I've used this myself in my teaching, and I, I really like like to use it. The great thing with uh, with Mattei is that uh, his his uh, partimenti are very, very uh, small. There are just five, six uh, measures each. Uh, and that allows the student to memorize the lines. So if you play them as contrapuntal, small contrapuntal pieces of, of just five, six uh, measures, and you, and you get a lot of sequential patterns, so then it just suffices to, to imitate one or two bars, and then you repeat, and then you learn this, the thing, and then you make a cadence at the end. So, uh, very useful. Is, 
this is really ear training. This is ear training. You can use this in ear training classes. It's a, it's a ex excellent material for ear training classes, I would say. With the hands on the keyboard. <laughs> 